Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Maya XO. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on this wig that I bought from Lovely Hill, and I'll also be showing you how I customize it. This is the packaging of the wig. On the box has a site, lovemehill.com, and their YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook page is Love Me Hill. I've been seeing this company all over my Facebook, my Instagram, and my YouTube, and I've seen all good reviews, so I just wanted to give the company a try. And I also heard they had Swiss Lace wig, so I wanted to give Swiss Lace a try. In the box, there's a wig, a wig cap, a Love Me Hill booklet. It just tells you how to care for your hair slash wig, how to use your wig, and frequently asked questions. Came with a little gift inside. So I got a red tail comb, some bobby pins, an elastic band, a tweezer. This feels very cheap. And two hair clips. Along with my purchase, I received a free fat iron as well because my order was over $159. This is a fat iron. It's in Chinese. It goes up to 220 degrees Celsius. So this is the way it came in this nice packaging as well. So there's a hairnet over the wig. So this is the wig. I ordered. Let me get the name for you. I have it written down here. I ordered the affordable best virgin hair, 13 by 6 lace front. Here you can see the pattern space, 13 by 6 inches. This is in the texture water wave. I wanted loose wave, but I realized that the site did not have loose wave. I don't know if it was just this type of wave, but I could not find loose wave. So this is the hair. Well, for now, I can see that the hair is very soft. The ends are not bushy. It looks true to length. The wig also came with baby hairs and I'm gonna have to go in and you know perfect them and pluck it somewhere but as of now it looks very pre-plucked. So the price of this wig was $172.70. I also got a discount on this wig. I don't remember the percentage but the total was $159.55. So that's how much I paid for the wig. So I chose express shipping which was 2-4 to four days, it was also free, I think I ordered the wig on a Sunday and received it on a Thursday so it has very fast shipping, I can say that the customer service is very good as well, I didn't have no problems with them. I'm also going to be applying this wig in a later video, I'm not sure whether I'll be doing a glueless installation or with it stick down but I'll be back to give you my final review on this hair. Let's see if it has any shedding. I'm passing my fingers through it. Not much shedding, like two to three strands. It doesn't have the best smell, I can say that from now. But other than that, I'm really liking the wig so far. It came with an elastic band as well, so that's a plus. So now that I've given you my initial review of the wig, I'm gonna start to customize it. I'll briefly show you how to beat your knots and pluck it, but I have in-depth tutorials on my YouTube channel and I'll leave the links in the description box below so you can go and watch them. They're very helpful. Okay guys, so I'm back and now I'm going to move on to bleaching the knots. You'll be needing some BW2 bleach, some Clairol Farty Developer, a mixing bowl, and applicator brush, and the wig. So to see my in-depth tutorial, you can click on the link below, but I'm just going to speed over this process right now and I'll be back when I finish mixing the bleach together. Mm 
at this point i'm just gonna spritz the hair with some water so the beach will not bleed through on it just gonna brush it through I'm just going to leave the beads sit for about 15 minutes and I'll be back to show you how it looks. So I'm back. I just washed and conditioned the hair off camera and I also used a shimmy light shampoo on the knots. That removes the brassiness from the knots. And this is how it's looking. I use the Aussie Miracle Moist conditioner and the Aze Miracle Moist shampoo. I forgot to show you guys this was a shedding after washing and conditioning the hair. It's not that much. Now I'm gonna move on to plucking. I'm gonna stick down the wig with some tea pins. I also have a mannequin head. I'm gonna use this pinpoint tweezer and a red tail comb. The hair is already wet, but I would recommend if you're about to pluck the wig to ensure that the hair is wet, you can use a spray bottle. Just gonna speed through this right now. You can go and watch the detailed tutorial. But basically what you do is section off a section from the front. behind this section. very full at this point so I'm gonna plug here at this point I'm not gonna plug anymore I'm gonna wait till I apply it to my head so I can customize it more to my hairline but as of now it's plus good enough this is the pattern space so this is the texture of the hair it is water wave 
It doesn't have any product in it, it's just wet. I'm very pleased with the quality of the hair so far, but don't forget, I'll be back to give you a final review on this hair. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!